Tom Cruise is enraged because Oppenheimer forced MI7 out of the Max theaters. According to Matt Baloney of Puck, Tom Cruise is pretty pissed that Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer is keeping his future mission, impossible movie out of the Max theaters. Cruise has reportedly been complaining loudly to Paramount executives and others about the Max situation, according to various sources familiar with the conversation. Baloney said. The majority of Amax screens are reserved for the eighth mission, Impossible Film, Dead Reckoning Part 1, until July 21, when Christopher Nolan's epic about J. Robert Oppenheimer, who directed the construction of the first atomic weapon, premieres. Oppenheimer will detonate a nuclear bomb on the market, grabbing all Amax screens for three weeks. Nolan, a fervent supporter of Amax, shot Oppenheimer entirely with Amax cameras. In reality, since The Dark Knight in 2008, Nolan has been using Amax cameras to capture his films. Nolan told the Associated Press last week that the image sharpness, clarity, and depth are unparalleled. The main point, in my opinion, is that while shooting on a Max 70mm film, the screen effectively vanishes. You may experience 3D without using glasses. You're filling the audience's peripheral vision with a massive screen. You are bringing them completely into the movie's world. In light of Nolan's dedication to a Max and his stature as a director, given that Baloney said the movie secured its release date well before MI7 obtained its earlier date, it makes plausible that Universal's Oppenheimer studio was able to obtain an Amax exclusivity window. Although Cruz apparently went on the attack to obtain additional premium large format, or PLF, cinemas, it doesn't appear like it is much of a consolation to Cruz. Baloney said that Cruz recently changed his focus to acquiring as many of those non-Amax PLF screens as he could, even personally calling around to exhibition and studio executives, per multiple sources. Amax accounts for just a little more than a third of the large format screens in the U.S.